The MG ZST with more tech, more safety with 360 degree camera and more peace of mind from 25490 drive away. The award winning MG ZST, it's the more you've been looking for. On air, online and on your smart speaker. Homescape tiles just down the range. Salvador Drive, Smithfield. Hit News Briefing. Hi there, Alicia McFarlane with your news briefing. Potentially life-threatening flash flooding is feared for parts of northern and central Queensland over the next 24 hours. Severe weather warnings span right from the Whitsundays through to Townsville. The Bureau of Meteorology's Valim Hanifai has told Sky News some areas have already seen 270 mils of rainfall in the 24 hours to 9 this morning, and there's still more to come. There is potential that we see some locally intense rainfall, which could bring six hourly rainfall rates of 200 to 250 and even isolated falls of, of up to 400 mil within the warning area. Meanwhile, power has been restored to thousands of Victorian homes after storms and heavy rain swept across parts of the state overnight. One house has been lost and someone has sustained minor burns from a bushfire burning in WA southwest. The blaze has been downgraded to watch and act level after burning 6,000 hectares of forest and farmland since Tuesday. The search continues for a young woman in Melbourne that's been missing for a week. 24-year-old Dakota Lee Nagel hasn't been seen since early last Sunday morning when she was out with friends in the South Yarra area. Police are calling on anyone with info to come forward. A miracle recovery for the young boy that survived last week's horror helicopter crash on the Gold Coast. 10-year-old Nicholas Tadros has been taken off life support and is responding well after being critically injured. The Sydney boy still has a long road to recovery, though, with a couple of surgeries booked in next week. Beyond Blue is here to help you achieve your best possible mental health. For more information, advice and support, visit beyondblue.org.au today. In sport, the tennis world will say goodbye to the iconic Sam Stozier after the Australian Open. The 38-year-old announcing her retirement on the eve of the Grand Slam. She's told Nine the time is right. It is hard to step away no matter, you know, what else is going on. But I, I do feel like the time's right. I've been doing this for a long time. Um, you know, there's a few aches and pain. And the Sydney Thunder have set a run chase of 135 in today's big match against the chance of showers and a thunderstorm for the tablelands temperatures dipping to 22 degrees tomorrow showers a possible storm high of 30 it's the daily stories that matter in under 20 minutes search the briefing podcast on listener download the app now and listen for free